for our generation right now, what do you think is the pulse of spirituality? Like if you had to like, if you like the grassroots kind of yeah. like, what do you think the feel of our generation is or there are view on spirituality mm. for young people today. Well, I mean, I think, um, you know, and you and I kind of talked about this yesterday, but I, I just posted a reel about this on my Instagram because honestly, this topic has been on my mind a lot. Um, my wife and I have the privilege of not just getting to pastor here, but we get to travel a lot yeah. um, all over the country and meet a lot of people. Um, and really, you know, that allows us to get out of the Bible Belt. It allows us to go t- to see what, th- kind of put our finger on the pulse of what God is doing in other places. And uh, the thing I'm seeing is that people are extremely open to being known as spiritual, right? Like, I'm spiritual, um, which can be seem- can seem like a good thing. Um, but in reality, being spiritual is not really what we signed up to be. Like, there, sure. there is... Everything we do is spiritual, you know, Um, but if we're not biblical, and what I mean by that, I'm doing spiritual, biblical, you know, those two words, but But it's a preacher way of doing it. But what I'm saying is if we're not Jesus, if we're not Jesus people, then what we are opening ourselves up to when we say we're spiritual is something other than Jesus. And anything other than Jesus leads to death. It leads to bondage. It leads to anxiety, depression. I mean, it's an open door for the demonic. And that's not something that a lot of people want to talk about. And I'm not that weird demon chaser dude. Like I'm not the guy who like, you know, sees a green light off in the distance and thinks a demon staring at me. Like, I don't think there's a demon behind every corner, but I think more often than not, there are a lot more than we would give, you know, credit for. And so I think we've got to bring people back to where, Hey, I'm glad you understand the answer to your problem is spiritual, but it's not just spiritual. It's Jesus. Jesus, his atoning work on the cross, the fact that his blood is efficacious enough to handle all of your sin, past, present, and future, that's the answer for you, my friend. Yeah. No, I think, too, you look at motivation talk, you look at all these yeah. reels. I follow a guy, he's a great photographer. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not going to like call him by name, no, you're but because he's a great photographer, but he posts these like daily, like philosophy type writings okay. on his story. Right and on. It's like motivation. Yeah. Like these deep thinkers. But what I think it's a, a scripture in James, and I'm going to rough paraphrase it, but yeah. it says when we think of the demonic, we think of, you know, devil with a pitchfork. Yeah. We think of like these stereotypical stuff that we've grown up seeing as kids and in movies and whatnot. But in James, it talks about a rough paraphrase that anything that's not of God, specifically of Jesus, is therefore demonic, meaning yeah. like, um, and I may, I don't know if you know, the, do you know that scripture off the top of your head? I, I'm, I'm vibing with you because yeah. like, it, it, I know so much scripture that I have no idea where it's at. I know. I'm that it, dude. I'm, I'm like, Google is my, you know, like Bible software. Somebody's like, what Bible software do you use? Google. This is the New Living Translation, James 3.15, for jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. Man. So James uses the vocabulary word demonic yep. for jealousy and selfishness, which we don't, that's a very like extreme way to put it, but the, the, the everyday person probably doesn't add like, attribute demonic to oh I was a little bit selfish today yeah you know what I'm saying yeah for sure and I I honestly think anything outside of Jesus you can boil it down to those two things for sure. jealousy selfishness yeah what motivated that was it Jesus oh if it wasn't Jesus then it was one of those two jealousy yeah. and selfishness That's I was true. trying to add unto myself I was trying to climb the ladder you know I was trying to get ahead or I was trying to beat old Joe Blow down the street yeah. because I'm in some little weird competition with him neither one of us ever acknowledge it but I know I'm beating him we get in those little weird games with people and I, I really do think you're right anything outside of Jesus is what James would call yeah. demonic and we've got to we've got to call a spade a spade. I think that's kind of where I'm getting. 